Hey, if you're considering a dog breed and you're looking for one that's easy to train, super good with people, and about as friendly as they come, then you definitely wanna check out the Golden Retriever. This is one of the most popular dog breeds in the world, and in this video, I'm gonna break everything you need to know down from price to temperament to trainability to grooming and, uh, and even their exercise needs. So, uh, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and, uh, and let's get to the video. Okay, so we're gonna look at five things that you need to consider before you uh, take the jump or the plunge with a golden retriever. Uh, some of the most important things that you can know about them before you, before you go get yourself a puppy or a, a shelter dog. Uh, we're gonna talk about price. We're gonna talk about their temperament and their trainability. Uh, those kind of go hand in hand. We're gonna talk about their grooming needs. We're gonna talk about their exercise needs. And then we're gonna end with talking about some uh, talking about some health issues, some long-term health issues that you need to be aware of if you're considering bringing a golden retriever into your family. All right, so number one, we wanna talk about the cost. Uh, the cost of a golden retriever varies, quite frankly, from animal to animal. Uh, they, it depends on the breeder, it depends on, you know, if you're going to a rescue dog or a shelter dog, those can cost anywhere from 150 to $300. Uh, and so if, you know, on the flip side of that, if you're getting a really reputable, a real reputable breeder that has uh, great lineage and maybe even championship blood in in the lineage and in the heritage, uh, you could pay up to five to six to ten thousand dollars for a puppy. Um, so you know, depend. Make sure you know what you want. The cost is gonna is gonna vary in there. If you're looking for a for a puppy from just a, a kind of a standard run of the mill, stay away from puppy mills, but but a standard breeder that's not running AKC hunt test lines, um, you can expect to pay between $700 and $1,000. If you're getting a dog from a shelter, one of the things that you wanna make sure is that they've had, uh, you know, you wanna know what tests they've had with the veterinarian. Have they had a vet that's got them up to, sh up to date on their shots, make sure they've got a rabies shot. Uh, and then I do suggest that even if they're an older dog, you pay the money and have a veterinarian a uh, qualified veterinarian remove those dew claws. They're they're worthless. They just uh, they just cause problems out in the field. So, when all is said and done, you're probably looking at an investment when you purchase a, a golden retriever. You're looking at an investment between five hundred and fifteen hundred dollars. So there's your costs. All right, number two, we want to talk about the temperament and the trainability of golden retrievers, and this is one of the reasons why they are just one of the most. They're, they're quite frankly one of the most popular breeds in the world and it's because their temperament is second to none. They are some of the friendliest, uh, happiest dogs you've ever seen. When you see a golden retriever kind of running up to its, uh, its owner, uh, it kind of reminds you of that little brother running to keep up with the bigger brother, just total adoration. I uh, kind of a, a of a look to them. They they bounce. They're happy. They just everything about them exudes just total joy, and so it makes it easy to be happy when you're around one of these dogs. The other great thing about their temperament is they are extremely uh, geared for pleasing. They they have a high desire uh, to please their owner or their trainer, and then second, the, their intelligence level is really off the charts. I'm not sure how they figure this out, but but if you look at the list out there, uh, Golden Retriever usually ends up somewhere between number six and number eight on the intelligence level, on, on the scale of most intelligent dog breeds. And so they're highly intelligent. If you mix their high, their intelligence, their friendliness, and the the desire to please, that becomes the, the perfect trifecta of qualities for a first time dog owner. If you've never trained a dog before, but you want to, you want to bring a dog into your, into your home or into your situation, a golden retriever is an excellent first dog, uh, to, to consider, to help you through the learning curve of training, uh, house training. They're going to pick up on that really quick. Uh, they're super friendly with other people. Uh, often the only barking they'll make is when they get too excited because there's lots of people around to, to meet. 
Uh, they don't do a lot of nervous or a lot of nuisance barking unless you've left them alone. Uh, which brings us to our next thing that we want to talk about. Uh, we want to talk about uh, we want to talk about the exercise needs of the the golden retriever. If you consider their heritage and where these dogs are from, they were originally they they originated in Scotland. There was a, a breeders looking for dogs that would retrieve birds in both dry ground and the wet marshy ponds of the of the Scottish uh, landscape. And so they, they kind of, you know, they started mixing different bird dogs and they ended up with this dog, the, the kind of the grandparent of the golden retriever. As the hunters got better and better with their bird or with their hunting, they needed a dog that could run further to go identify or go find the, the bird and bring it back. And the golden retriever was just kind of the perfect mix for that. Fast forward uh, 100, 150 years, and now what we've got is a dog who over the last century has been bred for long days in the field. Uh, they've also been bred to use their noses. They've also been bred to use their eyes to find, you know, to see the birds in, off in the distance and then go off and find it and bring it back. This means a couple things for you if you've got a golden retriever. One, you've got to physically wear your dog down. Your dog needs a good 45 minutes of hard exercise every single day. Now, often I'll get asked, are golden retrievers good dogs for apartments? Well, the answer to that is yes, if you're getting them out of the apartment on a regular basis for good hard exercise. I mean, 30 to 45 minutes of fetch, uh, of trail running, of off leash, just exploring. Those kinds of experiences, your, your golden retriever is going to come back and with that kind of physical exercise, they're going to be worn down enough and, and that will appease that need. The other thing you want to consider is the mental wearing, you know, you want to... You want to engage them and exercise their mind as well. These are very intelligent dogs. And uh, one of the ways to do that is with different games. Uh, I like to, it's fun to, if you're out on a hike, hide some hot dogs, put your dog in the truck, hide some hot dogs and, uh, and let the dog go find them. Using their faculties, the things that they've been bred for is going to be part of that, that experience of engaging the mind. There's also lots of, you can do lots of different uh, dog games where you hide treats and things and they've got to figure out how to open them up. That's also another great way to do it. My favorite way to engage a dog is to freeze some of their kibble inside of a Kong toy and then give that to them and it'll force them to wrestle and play and sniff and, and it will engage their mind so that when they're done with that and they're done with their exercise, then if you're in, a, in an apartment and in a smaller confined area, they're going to be more content. On the flip side, if they're not getting the mental exercise or the physical exercise, golden retrievers can become uh, nuisance dogs. They, they can become very destructive. They can become really bothersome with uh, making noise. Golden retrievers are also uh, kind of prone to some anxiety, some separation anxiety. So be aware of that. And... Uh, but again, a lot of that anxiety, a lot of that nuisance behavior just goes away if, if you're exercising them and, uh, and engaging their minds enough. All right, number four, let's talk about the grooming needs of your golden retriever. Uh, the golden retriever does become a, does have some, some higher, I guess, maintenance with the, when it comes to the grooming because uh, they do have that long flowing hair that kind of makes them just absolutely beautiful dogs. In fact, I, I contend that their, the Golden Retriever puppy is maybe one of the most adorable puppies on the planet. But with that beautiful, long, luscious hair comes some higher maintenance. Uh, you've got to deal with uh, brushing them out more. These dogs are going to shed all year round. They'll blow their coats out twice a year, which means they kind of excessively shed. But there's going to be shedding that takes place all year long in your, uh, in, in your house or wherever you're keeping your, your golden retriever. Now, you can maintain that a little bit by uh, going through a, a regular grooming routine. The nice thing about them, because they do shed, it's not a, it doesn't, they don't require a trip to the groomer. So you don't have to take them to a professional groomer. It is something that you can brush them out. Uh, I'll put some links to some of my favorite uh, grooming tools down below. Or you can check out this video right here. Where, I'll t where I tell you all about the Sleek Easy, which is bar none the best uh, de-shedding tool when it comes to dogs. Uh, on a side note, you can use them for cat. You can use that tool on cats and horses and, and pretty much anything else that sheds as well. So 
that's that, that's kind of their grooming needs. You you don't really need to give them baths. I I like to give my when we had golden retrievers, we would give our dogs baths by taking them up to the canal. Uh, they love to swim. They love to be active and outside, but, but they have, were bred, like I mentioned earlier, they were bred for the marshes and the ponds of, of Scotland. So they love getting out and getting into the water. Uh, when your dog gets stinky, just take them from a, for a swim. And then if you, uh, you give them a good brush out after that and let them and dry them off with a towel and then another brush out, they're going to be just fine. You will want to check when you come back from trips, you'll want to check them, uh, check them pretty close for sticks and burrs and other things that might get caught in that fur. Uh, or in their coat just to remove it so that it doesn't get become an irritation. All right, the fifth and final thing that we need to talk about is their long-term health issues uh, that you are likely to face when it comes to uh, a golden retriever. Uh, Health-wise, physical-wise, stature-wise, these dogs, they'll get to be about uh, 24 inches tall at the shoulder. They're, you know, weight-wise, a, a healthy male is going to be up to 75 pounds, a healthy female 65 to 70 pounds, and... Uh, when it comes to their long-term health issues, like all, I think pretty much every large breed or medium-sized breed dog deals with hip and elbow dysplasia. It's just one of the common consequences with some of these breeds if the, if the joints don't form quite right. Other issues that are uh, specifically pertinent to golden retrievers along with Labrador retrievers are eye issues. They can have um, cataracts and, and luckily those can, be, those can be cut out or surgically ad, uh, fixed. But there are other issues with the rods and the cones uh, in the ice that can't be fixed. And so it is possible to end up with a, a golden retriever that's f completely blind toward the ends of their, end of their life. Uh, these dogs can live to be anywhere from 10 to 12 years old. And, uh, and one of the, unfortunately, one of the most common things to end, to cut a, dog's, a golden retriever's life short is cancer. Uh, these dogs are much more likely to get cancer than almost every other breed out there. Uh, so be aware of that. Be extra careful if you do have a golden retriever as they get a little bit older. Make sure you're checking them for, for lumps and bumps and, and things that might uh, be, be, be cancerous tumors. Uh, like in any kind of cancer, the sooner you catch it, the sooner, the more likely you are to, to help your dog through it. So there's the five most important things you need to know about golden retrievers. It's not everything by any means, but I do hold to the, to the fact that if you're looking for a really great family dog that you can also take into the field, that you, that's easily trainable, not only for uh, hunting, but also you'll also see golden retrievers in, in a lot of the agility tests uh, because they are so extremely intelligent and easily to tra easy to train. Uh, so really when it comes to a golden retriever, you can't go wrong. Uh, if you're going to get yourself a golden retriever, I'd love to hear uh, about the golden retrievers you've had in the past or the ones you're going to get, male, female, give me some names. Uh, if there's any important information about the golden retriever I left, Please don't, uh, don't hesitate to leave that down below so that readers can learn as much as possible about the Golden Retriever. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.